quick update on 747. I gave it a light white coat. Now, going over the gray primer, this white paint took a while. I sat and sprayed white paint on her for a good four or five minutes. Constantly cycling the paint from front to back, giving the layers some time to dry in between. So I didn't just completely just leave this airbrush in one spot on the model. Doing that leaves paint runs. And I did not want that. She definitely needs another white coat because she's still a little grayish in areas. Okay, so she's probably going to get another one, maybe two more. One thing though, you can see this seems pretty much good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and let's see if we can see her in better detail. That scene came out pretty good. I have to say it did. You can see some light contrast if you look at it at the right angle where I didn't get it 100% smooth, but I got it pretty close. Close enough, I'm not going back and fixing that. I can fuss with this thing for days more and never get her done. And I'm under a deadline right now. I did get a piece of dirt under the paint. It's on the tail right where my finger's pointing. Let's zoom in on that. So I, you can see that yourselves. I'm moving the thing the wrong way. Everything moves differently between, let's zoom that back out a little bit. Everything moves differently on the camera than it does in person. You can probably see it right there is a little tiny spot. I'm gonna lightly sand that down and then give her another coat of paint. I've got cats that like to crawl all over everything and that, that's probably a piece of cat hair. Other than that, most of it came out pretty good. I can see one other spot where I had a little light run, but I'm not really going to fix them. Because I'm getting tired of this thing. I just want her done, and I don't know how visible they're going to be anyhow. There you go. She's got her white coat. I'm going to fix my bad paint. Give her another white coat, a clear coat, pull off the tape. Hello everyone. Got the 747 here. I put the white, last white coat on it a couple of days ago, put some future on it yesterday to kind of seal up that white coat, about to peel the tape off. I'm going to do this again in real time, but I will speed it up so you guys don't have to spend five minutes watching me pull tape. I'll talk about what's going on when it's done. Here she is, tape removed. Let's zoom in so I can talk while we're doing this. First thing, you notice these are gray. I looked at reference photo after reference photo after reference photo, and I came up with three different things. Back half gray, white stripe on the front, gray stripe on the front, back half white, underside white, underside gray. So I think they painted the plane a few times and they didn't know what they were doing. I just went with gray. Okay. 
This little knob right here is supposed to be silver. I'll take care of that with some hand paint. Um, rest of it, I have a teeny bit of underrun right there. Let's zoom in so you guys can actually see that. See how I got a little bit of underspray right there? Uh, a little too tight. Camera didn't like that. Okay. Right there, I got a little teeny bit of underspray. And the only other thing I have is this engine right here is about to come off. But other than that, this came out very, very nice. You can see how bright and shiny those are. You can see the contrast in the wings between the gray. The wings are much more silver than the gray tail. Okay. You can see it everywhere. I have a bad spot on my line right there, too. Now, here's my final conclusion to all this. And my paint got nicked a little bit over here, but not much. I'm gonna, I bet I can fix that. It's that I must have done that while I was pulling tape. I bet if I just do a teeny bit of light sanding right there, that'll fix it. All right, now I'm about to go try to fix all these spots, which isn't much to fix. And then she's going to immediately get a future coat to seal this up. There is hardly anything, again, for me to fix. So, let me move the camera where you guys can see me. And I'm going to talk to you guys for a second. Now, this model and the 747, I mean the Space Shuttle, the Corsair, and the Blackbird, all three of these were for me to try new techniques. Uh, techniques that I was uncomfortable with, unfamiliar with. All of you, my viewers, have helped a lot with your suggestions. I will admit that. My conclusion so far. One, I like the Tamiya paint better than testers for spraying. Brush painting, I'm not so sure about. Um, second, most of the problems I was having with paint, with my tape jobs anyhow, were the tape I was using. This Tamiya tape works far better than the tape I was using. You can tell by looking at this. I mean, I have almost zero underspray on this thing. That's the kind of results I want, not what I was getting with that other tape. So I think the tape was my problem with the other, my other job. Oh, I found one other spot right there. I had a little bit of white paint get through right there. Just a little bit, not much, and it did it back there too. Again, I'm going to fix this up. I'm not going to do it tonight, but it will get fixed. It won't take much at all to fix that. I think that came out very well, compared, relatively speaking. So my conclusion so far is that Tamiya tape far superior to what I've been using. The Tamiya paints are better than what I've been using. I don't like the white Tamiya paint, though, because to get that white on there, I had to put like six coats. I'm not talking, you know, like spray, wait a little bit, you know, 20 seconds, spray again. I'm talking about spray a coat of white, come back the next day, spray a coat of white, come back the next day, spray a coat of white. So I put Six is maybe an exaggeration, there's definitely four on there. I've been spraying, painting that for a week now. Okay. But, you, you know, you put, you're working with your limitations. I've always found white paint hard to deal with. And again, I think that came out fairly well, all things considered. I think she came out all very well. So what I have yet to do is get the windshield in because she's missing fix my little overspray problems which there is not much to fix future coat decals build a stand I've started working on the stand a little bit but not much now that this thing's pretty done I can start concentrating on the stand I'll have the sand stand done this weekend uh, and there you go that's where I'm at with that one space shuttle the oil is still setting up on it and I'm going to let it set for another three days before I clear coat that. I want that oil, let's put it this way, the oil paint is dry, it's not cured. There is a very different thing going there. Cured means you can handle it, it is done, it is completely set. Dry just means it's dry to the touch. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer to be cured and then I'll clear coat it. But anyhow, we're almost done. That means I can start worrying about my contest entry. So, I will talk to you guys later. We're talking about the base for a 747 Space Shuttle. Um, let me move the camera so we can see what I'm looking at. 
There we go. Now, what we what I've got here is a wood display base. I got this in my big box hobby shop. I don't remember what I paid for it. Three dollars. It's a piece of pine. Pine is soft wood. So you have to be careful that you don't dent it and ding it, and I haven't done so. I've sanded it down to make it really smooth. What I want to do is make a landing strip out of it. So I've got here a piece of 1200 grit sandpaper. I'm going to cut it down to size. I'm going to lightly paint it with some white paint so it looks more like concrete. Okay. Once I've done with that, I'm going to put some uh, landing strip markings on here. This is almost to scale the width of this base. It's close to perfect scale for a runway. It's a little bit short. It's a little bit short by about an, a half inch on its width, but it's really close. Close enough that I'm going to be able to do this. The runway markings are going to be to scale. I spent quite a bit of time one night reading about runway markings and finding out their sizes and stuff. That was an experience, let me tell you. But I finally did find a website that detailed them all. So. I got that. We're going to have some accurate markings. And just to give you an idea of what this is going to look like, I got the 747 over here. Okay. Still have to touch up the paint a little bit, and I found some bad spots. I'll deal with that, detail that in a minute. But using the supplied stand that came with it, let's turn this sideways so you guys will get a better feel for it. The supplied stand's going to mount her just like that. She looks like she's in the proper attitude for landing damn near. She's a little bit off. I might be able to... Oh, that's why she's off. She's coming loose on the base. She's going to look like that. She's almost in the proper position for landing. So this is going to work very, very well indeed. It makes me pretty happy to see this. And I'm going to put it right about there on the base. So it'll look like she's coming in to land. Uh, let me move it up a little bit. I'll put her there. I don't want her hanging off the base too much. But there you go. That's what I plan on doing for the base.